He, uh, I need that's me, bro. All his flag at the dark, nigga. All his flag at the dark, nigga. Dude. been a minute it's been a minute since a minute yo when we first started watching these on stream these is fine y'all kept wanting to watch some damn prim bro it's been a minute all right so uh let's watch above the rim yo ed thank you for the big five gifted my nigga i really appreciate that bro i appreciate it um if i can tell y'all my favorite streamers man shit let me look at my side who i'll be watching it starts off with this scary ass let me see my favorite streamers because like, I, I i let y'all answer hey real shit i appreciate y'all for um for the people who i am y'all favorite streamer bro no cap uh, real shit i really do appreciate that man i got a lot of big goals for us in the community bro hey no cap i can't wait till i, till I grow us to the point where we pull in a thousand live so we pull in a thousand live bro and i know hey we be getting up there we be getting 500 600 you know what i'm saying dedication Oh my I very underscore just subscribed. 28 months wasted on this false claiming Houston nigga nah, JK. Keep up the hard work, much love. Appreciate you, my nigga. All right, thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm in your top. I'm in your top five for sure. Hey man, I'm I'm glad to be in there, motherfucker. Yo, Ant, bro, Ant, you ain't gotta do that, bro. You ain't gotta do that, Ant. Thank you, my G. Appreciate that, dog. Appreciate that, dog. Appreciate that, nigga. Nigga, nigga, say nigga, I ain't Nova. All right, man. Um, yo, hey, you know what's crazy for me? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. I just got, I just got people that I watch a lot. I'm gonna come up with a list and I got y'all. I'm gonna come up with a list for y'all in the future. I'm gonna find the five people that I'll be going to the most. That's what we're gonna do. All right, Tip Prim. That's the basketball flashback. Leon Bitch, is the main up, character dude. and he's playing some rooftop basketball with his best friend in the whole world. Jet Life so. Food just Leon subscribed. Cocky, though, you my favorite streamer, real talk. Thank Keep you, doing your thing. Movie. Thank you. Yo, Eric, thank you for the 13 bits. A level four hype train. I don't know if I ever remember this movie. What the fuck was that? Hold on. Bro, it's not a W stream. It's not a W stream. I'm not gone. I'm not gone, bro. Oh yeah, I'll be having my elbow up high. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. It's been oh, real. Yeah. Bro, Leon's come on, bro. Is dead. He real sad about it. Leon be Yo, that's how his friend fucking died? How you fall like that? This fucking movie fucking trash already. Oh yeah, Leon friend is dead. He real sad about it. Leon be having nightmares about it and he lost all his basketball powers like in Space Jam 1 also. Is that really how this nigga died though? Why would somebody put a hoop right here? Hey, real shit. I swear to God, I would never play basketball up there, bro. Never, never, never. Ain't no gate or nothing. Of course somebody died. There's not even My uncle in this movie. Nigga ain't so much like uncle. Die, bro. We flash forward and now Dwayne Martin is the main character, I guess. He real good at basketball and he real bad at trash talking. He's like the star of his high school basketball team. Yo, Eric, and he's trying to impress Eric, this recruiter Ivory. or whatever. Appreciate for the bitch. What's college, going on, bro? Georgetown Thank y'all, bro. Somebody, I don't know. I went to community college. Hey, I don't know college. bro, y'all need to a lot of love. I appreciate y'all, bro. Also, right? I don't know what it is. Thanos face ass boy. <laughs> Maybe it's this. Yo, he fucking look like Thanos, my nigga. What the fuck? 
Soft ass afro. <laughs> Cosby show ass afro. This shit is hella fluffy, my nigga. How did you do Yo. that? I kind of fuck with it. Tupac in the movie also. He plays a nigga I'm named edit Birdie. Out. He's you like for the, the sub, biggest bro. drug dealer in the world and uh, something something love I basketball. Mean, just He's just also subscribed. Leon's brother. Big we 10 months later. wish you success you know, with your new business. This nigga chewing bitch, on man. a fucking cigar, bro. What the hell's wrong with this nigga? He's legit just chewing that bitch up. You ain't even taking out the plastic. I never seen... What the fuck is this nasty ass scar on my nigga face? This scar, nigga said two pack. This scar is trash. That's not how you smoke a cigar, bro. Hey, yo, scar pack was, was horrible. Somebody tell him JC out for 30 seconds. Get, yo, how did they go for 30? How did they go for 30? It was horrible. <laughs> Look at this old you that tiny ass, ass, tracer, he that. ass haircut. This nigga got a part. Yo, and what the fuck? Yo, chat, spam dibs in the chat. My nigga done, look. Big $20 dono. Big $20 dono, man. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so fucking much, bro. Thank you, bro. Shit. Directly in the middle of his head. Who does that? Yo, George Washington Carver head ass. Yo, boy. old Bro niggas used to do that. Why did they put lines in the middle of their head? He ends up causing what his was team that? the whole game. Eric, think about a 400 bit. He a real hot shot. Yo, yo it's level four also, ice cream, bro. Just like Leon was. He gets yelled at by his basketball coach. Then afterwards, he runs into his good friend from back in the day, Marlon Wayans. <laughs> Superstar? Yo, man, when you get out, bro. Well, this is Bob, man. Hey, what's up, B? How you doing, man? Let's nigga look old as fuck. Nigga, how many times you failed? Birdie, me. wants to meet you. For what? It's a surprise, man. Come on, get your shit. What? Dwayne Martin goes to meet Tupac at his secret criminal lair. Wood Harris is here in the Tina movie, Farley. too. He's like Tina Tupac's got a right hand man or whatever. He like the muscle. This nigga loves selling drugs. He a damn drug dealer in everything he's in. This nigga ruining our community, yo. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Tupac asked Dwayne Martin to join his team for some big ass basketball tournament that's coming up. He's being super smooth and borderline sexual with it. It's uncomfortable. I know you want the finer things in life, and I can get them for you. All you gotta decide is how bad you want it. After that, we go back over to Leon and he's at the park at like fucking midnight playing pretend oh, no, no nigga basketball hey, with no Hey, no cap. Hey, real niggas know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, even if you don't hoop, every nigga has pretended to hoop before. You ain't got no ball, you ain't help. Just dribbling. Real nigga know. Hey, hey, and I ain't gonna lie, boy, it be so funny, my faking ass nigga. I don't know how to hoop, nigga. I do not know how to hoop. I swear to God. Hey, I, hey I've been telling y'all I've been going to the, to the gym, right? One thing that I've been trying to learn how to do is not give a fuck about what other people might be looking like, like what I might be looking like when people look at me at the gym or some shit like that. So I should be getting comfortable, honestly. I should be getting comfortable as fuck. So nigga, hey, I got on the gym, I got on the treadmill and I hate cardio. Uh, I started to I started to be like get on the treadmill for 30 minutes straight, bro. And for me, that's a major accomplishment because I I never could really do that shit. Oh, nigga, for me to do that, I gotta psych myself. I'm turning on all kind of music and shit. <laughs> then I had to, then I caught myself. I'm on the treadmill walking. Nigga, I'm doing this like I'm dribbling. I was like, nigga, you can't hoop. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> doing some other shit, nigga. Boy, that shit is so funny, bro. That's so, this nigga tweaking, nigga, can I hoop? Oh, hell no. Why don't you have a real basketball, sir? This nigga scared of basketball now, bro. Whatever it takes. Guy. That's really sad, Hey, bro, bro. I just gotta get myself, like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do something to take your mind off how long you've been on the fucking treadmill, bro. Not so death, it looks like. He feel like it's all his fault. How the fuck is that your fault, bro? Why is there not a gate or hey, something? Hey, Guapo, I appreciate you, my nigga. Here? This is not a good place to hoop. I'm surprised more people don't die up here. This is like a final boss level. Like, what if the ball fly off this bitch and crack somebody in the head? That could kill him. What if you're trying to save the ball and you can't stop yourself in time? You dead. What if you fall through this big ass skylight greenhouse shit right here? You fucking <laughs> dead. I can't believe these niggas playing basketball up here.
<laughs> the next morning, Dwayne Martin gets into it with his mom. She didn't come to his game last night because she was working extra shifts at the hospital and they struggling all the time or something. I was working. That's why I missed your game. And that's why I want the scholarship so you won't have to work so hard. I don't care if you Scholarship gonna make you not work hard. Oh, you know what? Hey, back then, them niggas, when you was real good at sports, boy, hey, they act like they wasn't paying, they was paying niggas. Boy, hey, if y'all watch the pivot, y'all watch the pivot, or I am after that nigga Fred Taylor, I think that nigga said he got 40 bands from like Georgia or something. 40 bands. He didn't even go to that school. Oh, still paying for shit show. But hey, yo, you, hey, you wanna know something? Go watch the pivot with, um, Eric Dickerson. I don't know why, for some reason, bro. I yo. I I used to not like Eric Dickerson. Because the nigga went to fucking SMU for one. Um, but it was really when AP was about to get ready to break the Russian record. Eric Dickerson sounded like a hater. He was like, I don't want him to break it. I want my son to break the record. I was like, nigga, man, fuck you, nigga. Root for my nigga to break it. I was being a little weird. I ain't gonna lie. But yo, the Eric Dickerson I am athlete episode was fire. Boy, they gave that nigga a brand new car. Get it, yo, school's giving them niggas cars trying to come. So you know what? My dog right, man. You said LSU was giving niggas cars back when I was there? Listen, it's, yo, all them athlete niggas is riding clean. You're an All-American. Don't miss your curfew again. Miss Watson, how you doing? Remember me? Marlon Wayne shows up and they head to the park for some good old basketball, of course. That's all this nigga do, bro. He ain't got no type of yeah, love interest run or through nothing. the hood. He ain't got no a other brand new escalate. It's not healthy, bro. Basketball playing ass nigga, man. Bro, man. Up, man. I never watched the 30 for 30. Yo, I gotta take a leak. Damn, G. I didn't know he was uncircumcised. What? Boy, don't look at me while I piss, bruh. What the fuck you got going on, nigga? Bro, you tripping. Cock watching. Yo. Your ecstasy, bro. You just type random shit. Bro. Huh? Do dick like an anteater, but it's so big. Whoa. They have to. What the fuck am I hearing? Yo! What the fuck? Nah, that shit was gross, my nigga. That nigga tripping, bro. This nigga is tripping, dog. Park playing basketball what and the Bernie Mac fuck showed wrong up with in this? the movie. Yo, Bernie! Crackhead ass. <laughs> look at this, look at Bernie. Crackhead ass! <laughs> oh, now, he plays funny local crackhead. It's a hood movie. Gotta have Your funny local twin. I don't like Bernie his Mac, His name is nigga. Flip, and he challenges the boys to a quick game, but they're not trying to play with his funky ass. <laughs> I was about to say, but I know niggas were like this. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't disrespect homeless niggas, because like, it's weird, you know what I'm saying? Niggas already, they, they, they already dealing with they shit. But let me tell you what, I'm, one thing I'm not finna do with you, my boy, I'm not finna hoop it up with you. Hey, I'm I ain't real shit, but I'll talk and have a conversation with you. I would, cause I'm not rude. I'm not rude. But damn, why am I not in focus? But um, I'm damn. Am I in focus or not? Kind of, kind of not. But I'm not finna hoop with no homeless nigga, bro. Like, nigga trying to post me up, smelling, smelling like that. Nigga post me. I'm like, nah, you got it, bro. You got it. You got it. Get the bucket. Get the bucket. Get the bucket. Get the bucket. You can have it, you can have it, you can have it, you can have it. No, I'm not finna fucking play with you, bro. Your teeth is way too That's white crazy. to be a junkie, by the way. That shit is hella distracting. <laughs> Which one of y'all want a piece of me? You get Faithful. the balls, you play me for some real life bumps. <laughs> ah. All right, bet. First basket wins, loser again. You still hooping him after he hit you and he kicked you in your ass. Huh? Get crazy hard, Spalding written on your ass, bumps. What you got? What you got? What you got? Yo, you're playing a one-on-bump, D. Yeah, so they're playing for Boonks, 
which means the winner gets to punch you in the ass or something? What the fuck? Yeah, they play Pause, some weird bro. ass games. A, a literal ass kicking. Oh my God. A urban game where the loser of some contest must bend over and expose his ass and accept getting hit in the ass by some object, usually a basketball. <laughs> Boy, y'all niggas was tripping in this bitch. Boy, what the fuck kind of game are y'all playing? Bro, that's some sick, nasty shit. And look at Bernie Mac eyes. He can't wait to book a nigga. He couldn't wait to book a nigga, bro. Look at Bernie. <laughs> that shit wicked, bro. Boy, that shit is wicked, bro. Y'all niggas played that? I never heard that game in my life, bro. Bernie Mac gets his ass bust, of course. You a junkie, nigga. You don't have enough nutrients in your body to be hooping with these niggas. Yo, when I said that to Ricky, make that emo. When I said to Ricky, Ricky said that I was an asshole for saying, yo, we was in LA. Long story short, I know I do a lot of sidebars. We was in LA. This homeless nigga, we was out there with, um, with my dog Crypto. Y'all know Crypto, bro. Um... I don't know crypto. Uh, you might know her from GTA, or you might know my nigga from this. Crypto would it really went viral? Hell yeah, my nigga went viral. My dog crypto, bro. So look, we in LA, right? <laughs> this my nigga crypto. Whoa, hey, hey, bro, hey, we up in here in LA, right? Bro, we walking, and then this, and then the homeless nigga, he was like, yo, he was like, yo, what's up, young blood? What's up, young blood? Hey, man, help me out, help me out, help me out. Give me some money, give me some money. Nigga, this Houston, no, Crypto not from Houston. He not from Houston. The dance is from Texas, but Crypto's not from Houston. He from Florida, right? Um, uh, yo, yo, funny, yo, funny thing. Another funny sidebar. <laughs> I probably thought Crypto made the woe dance. <laughs> Yo, that nigga I bought though crypto made that. I was like, nigga, he didn't make that dance, nigga. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, is this, hey, let me tell y'all niggas how it went, bro. <laughs> hey, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Run to tell you. Run to tell you. So, Bow, I remember, I'm gonna take it back to when I first seen the woe. Um, if the woe was popping and if it got, if this, when did this, when this shit blew up? 2018. I swear to God, I seen the wolf for the first time in 2016. I randomly get on Facebook. Randomly get on Facebook. I never get on Facebook. But I got on Facebook on some random shit. And I seen my nigga, my nigga named Demarcus. He reposted some niggas at PV hitting this dance. And I was like, what the fuck is they hitting? This shit looks stupid. But it was the early version of the fucking woe. But then eventually it started to catch on, started to catch on, and then wow. Um uh, you know what I'm saying? The uh, niggas everywhere start hitting it. So boom, I'm sitting in this motherfucker. I'm in a Discord call, and when I seen Crypto did the dance, I'm like, okay, like I don't nigga, whatever. It's, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga going viral, nigga shit. Hey, hey, my nigga, yo, this this shit to help my nigga take off 143 motherfucking million, nigga. Cause one thing about Texas, we have a lot of dances, bro. Texas. A lot of dances come from Texas, but the thing is, there's never an official song to these dances. So the woe was a big ass thing. It just wasn't a song to it. Niggas was hitting the woe to dances. I mean, it's a song, but it was never a song to that motherfucker. Or never, or never one of them that went viral, right? So boom, crypto come out with this shit. I part not tapped in. So we we over here just chilling. The new 2K come out. The new 2K come out, and then that nigga was like. Man, I just can't believe they ain't put my nigga name in the game, man. 
And my nigga changed the game, man. My nigga changed the game. And I was like, wait, who you talking about? On some crypto, bro. Man, my nigga got a whole dance, bro. My nigga made the whoa. <clears throat> and I'm playing the game. I'm always playing a game like this. I say, wait, I'm like this. Nigga, he ain't make that motherfucking dance. What is he talking about? Nigga, shout out to my nigga. But yo, Apo, what are you talking about right now? And Apo was like, he ain't make the dance? I said, nigga, no, that shit is from Texas. <laughs> and then Apo is saying, and Apo said, damn, I thought my nigga made that up. <laughs> oh, batteries in the back? Hey, hey, I never stopped, baby. I never stopped. Come on now. I plugged that hoe up so I can do my 2K13, nigga. Y'all thought I was doing that shit for a video back then, nigga. The ghetto. The fuck, nigga. But, boy, when that nigga iPod did, I was like, bro, iPod, boy, what is you talking about, bro? What's wrong with you, bro? But, damn, what was I talking about? Oh, so, we was out there with crypto. We was out there in crypto, with crypto in LA. So, this is before he made the woe dance. Just chilling. We going to go find something to eat. Homeless nigga, Crypto had this, he had this loud ass blazer jacket with flowers all on it. What is the title? I didn't make the title, bro. Y'all gotta know I don't make the title, bro. This loud ass jacket with flowers all on it. Bro, he could not be, you can't look past him when he walking on the street. This shit was loud. The homeless nigga was like, yo, what's up, young, what's up, young bloods, man? Help us out, man. Yo, help a young man out. He was like, you know, he's like, yo, help an old man out, man. Help an old nigga, help an old man out, man. Like. Just give me some money, man. Just give me something to eat, man. We was like, bro, I, honestly, bro, we ain't got nothing, bro. We ain't got nothing. So we just keep walking. And then we walking and talking, and we realize, nigga, what the fuck is crypto? Nigga, the homeless nigga put his arm on crypto and turned around and, like, kind of made that nigga crypto start walking in the other direction with bro. And we say, hey! Hell no! <laughs> we say, we say, watch out! And then that nigga iPod, that's what I realized. My nigga iPod really not, my my iPod really don't, my nigga iPod really don't play by none of that shit. iPod don't play by none of that shit. I'm telling you right now, iPod don't play by none of that shit. iPod was like, hey man, I don't know what you got going on, but you need to stop that shit. I was like, yo, let that nigga know. And Crypto was like, yeah man, nigga fucking bugging, yo. But Crypto, like, Crypto was just trying to see, like, what the fuck you want so bad you touching on me? Like, but we was like, hey, nigga, get your hand off our nigga. What the fuck you got going on? And then, and Ricky, <laughs> and Ricky was like, yeah, man, old dude was tripping. I was like, I told Ricky, I said, man, I ain't gonna lie. I was about to beat that homeless nigga ass. And Ricky was like, bro, you think you gonna whoop that homeless nigga ass? I was like, bro, no disrespect. And I don't, I don't mean this shit to be funny. But shit, man. Hey, EA paid for our breakfast. Nigga, hey, hey, we had all you can eat, nigga. I had a hearty breakfast, nigga. I know that nigga. I know that nigga ain't right. I know, hey, I know that nigga. Hey, I know the nigga energy ain't matching mine. I had a hearty breakfast. I'm out. Whoop that homeless nigga ass. And Ricky was Ricky just laughed and said, I'm so fucked up for saying that the homeless nigga ain't have his nutrients. But I'm just saying, bro, real shit. I had a good breakfast. Hey, homeless nigga, hey. I'm telling you, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You hear me? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm ready for that nigga, man. Say, man, you need to stop. Hey, quit touching my nigga. You tripping, bro. You tripping. You tripping, bro. <laughs> that nigga, you going to hell, nigga. How the fuck am I going to hell? How the fuck am I going to hell? Imagine getting your ass, getting your ass beat by a homeless person on the full stomach. Bro, I'd be sick. I'll be sick, man, but like, yo, I ain't had nothing against the homeless nigga, but yo, he was tripping, bro. You don't grab nobody and do that shit. So look, so my thing is, how y'all say I'm going to hell? But y'all let Prim say this and ain't say nothing. You a junkie, nigga. You don't have enough nutrients in your body to be hooping with these niggas. So what's the difference between what I said and what he just said? What's the difference? <laughs> he said the homeless nigga can't play basketball. You not Prim. <laughs> Okay. Because he said it as a joke. I said it's a joke too.
You can't spare a homeless nigga McDonald's meal, but you can buy some diamond grills? Selfish prick. Hey, nigga, you don't... Hey, nigga, you trying to boom... Boy, boy, get the fuck away from me, nigga. Hey, boy, get the fuck away from me. You don't know what the fuck I bought homeless niggas before, nigga. Don't do that. Watch out. Bernie Mac not trying to give you up tripping. the bunks, so Dwayne Martin starts beating him up. Just then, Leon he's comes not trying in to, to save the day. He is security guard, say he's not trying to give up that bunk. the school. Forgot to say that, I think. That's enough. Go on. Shepard, they can't erase what we were, man. Champions, baby. Leon is talking to Bernie. He wanted to hit him in his ass that ball so bad. They're reminiscing about the old days when Leon was having the boom game. My nigga uh, changed his life, turned to John Gabon, and then started dating Woe Vicky. Basketball coach offers Leon a position as vice basketball. This nigga's still scared of basketball, so he say fuck ass no. <laughs> Wayne Martin shows up later, and him and Leon go back and forth for a little bit. Dwayne Martin need a mentor, and Leon need a new little brother. Basketball. Man, what am I telling you for? It's not like you understand. Ball needs rotation. Spread your fingers. <laughs> Listen, why don't I stick to basketball and you stick to saving bums in the park? Before we continue, this episode of Prim Sets will be or move time, make the world, and move inside to a easy business. Make. Finally made it back for the old lady's birthday, huh? Your little brother then came up, man. Really? Hell yeah. I mean, shit got bad. We had no lights, no electricity, no food. We all wrapped up in our coats in front of the stove in the wintertime. It's all right, though. I handle shit. Together as brothers, can't nothing stop us. What, selling that shit? Are you that dumb? Oh, nigga, we felt bad, Why are you so petty, Leon? He had to do something. Did you not hear this nigga? Him and your mom were starving and cold. They were sleeping in the oven or something, right? Yo, Give him a break. What the fuck you was you weren't helping. You supposed to be guiding this nigga. Also, this is a good ass Tupac performance. This nigga a good ass actor, bro. Rest in peace, Tupac. He all star. This ain't nuts, so. This ain't that dope head on the roof taking orders from you. You ain't the motherfucking man no more. I'm the one. Mm. Suggest you raise the fuck up. Get the hell out of Dodge. Or get caught up. Leon goes out to dinner by what himself. What the fuck was he wearing? being super rude to the staff is not even cool, bro. I get you trying to be mysterious and shit, but come on, bro. You extra rude. Anything else? No. You sure? I think you need someone to make you a good home with me. Yo! Thank you so much for completing the tutorial, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dwayne Martin's mom comes in the restaurant, and now all of a sudden, this nigga. Ain't nothing like. Ain't nothing. Uh. I'm the one, Trey. Ain't nothing like a rude motherfucker that's rude to service, bro. Nigga, fix your motherfucking attitude. Nigga, these people is working weird. He's in the mood. He all friendly and sensual and shit. That's crazy, bro. What changed? Oh, this one just a little too thick for you, huh? I hit that shit all day. I prefer this one, honestly. She got hella ass, Leon. You geeking, bro. Whatever, man. Damn, you bro. Like what you like. Let's move on, though. Damn, Damn nigga trying to go crazy. Nice title. Sweet, but it's gone sour. <clears throat> Dwayne Martin eating dinner with his mom, and he brings up the NBA, and he says he's tired of Reactions struggling with fat, in the fat. hood. Isn't his mom a nurse, bro? That's a good ass job. I'm not I even thought. close to being what fat. What the fuck are they struggling so bad? It's only two of y'all. Move real quick. Run that back. Nah, man. You need you know, no. You need to get your mind out the good. That's your problem, bro. No, I'm putting my foot down. That should be good, right? Come on, New title, unless I'm bugging. Order, I'm on my shit. Figures. That's right. You're not in the NBA yet, and I still gotta work. All right. You said yeah. Yeah, right. Of course. Miss. Anyway, later on, he's hanging out with Wood Harris and the gang. They're on their way to see Tupac when they drive by the park and spot Leon doing his make believe basketball to tournament. Oh, wow. Yo, Carlos! Hey, you what it is, Carlos gang? Just subscribe. Yo, we just for the sub. Ball without a ball. <laughs> <laughs> you better leave that shit alone, whatever you fucking with. Yo, Mo, I know, why did nigga look scared? Pull over right here. I thought we was going straight to the spot, man. Nigga, I said pull over. What? So you just Wood subscribe. Hurts hops out the car like Wayne Brady. Yo, young, put that for the sub, my J. Dwayne Martin don't like that. 
he getting scared now because his street shit happening and he a hooping ass Bro, nigga. Basketball playing ass nigga man. This is actually pretty tame. That's a standard ass whooping. What do you think was going on? Oh, they ain't no you standard ass whooping. That nigga put a pistol in that nigga mouth. so shocked right now. What Bro, it be, it be niggas. It be niggas that don't got no business hanging with some gangster ass niggas wanting to hang with gangster niggas. What do you think gonna happen? If it's, yo, if you hang with gangster niggas, some gangster shit gonna happen. He wanna know what I stopped doing? I stopped hanging out with gangster ass niggas. <laughs> oh hell no! Oh wait, that nigga hate you enough to say he gonna shoot you? Hey, you know what, man? I like video games. <laughs> Cause you ain't gangster. I ain't. I ain't. And that's the problem. Enough niggas out here don't want to admit that they not gangster. I'm not a gangster, bro. Yo, I, I don't find nothing appealing about being gangster. Nothing. I don't want to be gangster, bro. That shit whack to me. Shout out to the gangster niggas, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a problem with y'all niggas, man. Hey, Jana, this is for the motherfucking big five gifted my dog. I really appreciate you. Spam Debbie's in a goddamn chat with my dog. You are not GD, nigga. I like video games. I'm telling you, I like video games, nigga. When in the house and start playing goddamn uh, SmackDown versus Raw? What? Nigga, huh? Guapo. 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 When you trying to ask niggas to give subs, do not fucking start with. Do not fucking start with run a train on this nigga. Fucking stop. Please, I'm asking you to stop, my nigga. I'm fucking asking you to stop. W man's guap. That's not a fucking W man's, bro. Just fucking, yo, just say, hey, spam the gift into something, bro. Just fucking stop, bro, please. What do you bro. think it would be like? Fuck is wrong with this nigga. Hug or something. Oh my god, bro. We are on a date now. That he brings views and stuff. Maybe they would exchange bro. numbers and shit. Maybe they just saw each other at the school or something <laughs> at one point. Whatever. They on a date now. They start falling for each other, but Dwayne Martin don't like that shit. I wouldn't like that shit either. This nigga crazy, bro. You gotta tell your mom about this nutty ass basketball thing he be doing. That shit is concerning. I can't believe you're going out with that toy cop again. What do you even know about him? Huh? He's not wrong. Huh. What do you mean he's not wrong, Nova? He's wrong for that. I guess that answers that. Come on in, I'll be just a second. Dwayne Martin wants to know more about Leon's. Nah, I want the train. And that's your first time chatting. This nigga came in here on one. This nigga came in here on one. What the fuck is going on? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? So he goes to find his friend, local funny crackhead. Look. I'm not here to start nothing, man. I just want to ask you about your man, Tom Shepard. What you looking for, some dick? Get <laughs> <laughs> your pussy ass. You too, birdie, old picklehead motherfucker. <laughs> what, nigga? Birdie, oh, no. Shit. Yo, fucking ass will come ask me about Tom Shepard. <laughs> ask Scarface. His motherfucking brother. <laughs> Tupac and Wood Harris show up later that night and they kill local How funny crackhead for what? This they killed really that nigga Bernie? That picklehead joke. Grow up, <laughs> man. <laughs> Dwayne Martin is playing more goddamn basketball now. What else do you think he's doing? That nigga going to crazy class? Shit. Yeah, right. You wish. We don't see a single classroom in this motherfucker. This nigga don't even go to class, bro. All he do is who? Bro, basketball playing ass nigga, man. Tupac is doing more and more gang shit in front of Dwayne Martin and he's getting really worried now. They killed local funny crackhead and they picking on Marlon Wayans all the time. Sorry I'm late B. Niggas didn't even tell me we have a fucking meeting. I'm telling you we gonna play college ball together. Like college? Nigga you can't barely fucking read. How the hell are you going to college? Is this a fucking joke? Fuck out man. Get out. Hey niggas that do that to you can't read. Niggas that do that to you can't fucking read. I mean, nigga, you barely can fucking read nigga. Hey, hey nigga you can't either. I, I've, I've peeped niggas doing that shit. I peeped niggas that be, that be hiding doing the popcorn reading, mad, laughing at somebody for not being able to read. You can't read neither, bro. Like, you don't got to bask your hurt and make it fun of me, my boy. We both in this whole fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did too, that's what that. And wind up like that bum flip, right? Which one we lie? 
Talking about? Dwayne Martin goes to check on Bernie Mac, but Damn, bro, he finds Leon read? there no, instead. They have an inspirational ass game of one on one. Leon finally becoming a good mentor, and he even gets his basketball powers back. It's time you and me play. He thought that bullshit was gonna work. I bought some books. No fucking way, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not putting my hands on a gate and turning around in front of a nigga. Like, what are we doing? What the fuck is going on in this movie? Whoa. Dwayne Martin decides not to play for Tupac. The nigga closed his eyes and shit. Won't game. Team anymore, and he wanna yo, play. Yo, 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 key. <laughs> For his regular coach in the big tournament, Key. Tupac pretty upset Calm about down, it. Calm down, Now they got to defeat each other in the final round or something. Sports go also, he got accepted <laughs> into Georgetown no, for some reason. You need to he stop. He didn't have to learn no lessons in this whole movie. This nigga suck, bro. I heard you a hoy in there. Congratulations. What you think they're gonna think up in Georgetown about the presents you took? You're not going to college or any fucking way if the Birdman don't win. Good game. Yeah, okay. Like, they wouldn't believe your dumb ass. What are you talking about? You think they're gonna kick this nigga out because some random ass motherfucker named Birdie? Oh my God. I remember this shit. I seen a clip. All right, first of all, I'm coming to realization. I don't think I ever really sat down and watched this movie like that. Um, when I was a kid, I just wasn't trying to watch this shit. I'm pretty sure my granny had the fucking, um, the uh, VCR, this shit, whatever. Um, uh, whatever. But. Bro, number, thank you, Guapo, number 52. I seen the clip. This nigga's the greatest human to ever live. Hear me? I don't know if he's gonna mention it. Number 52 is the greatest human being to ever live. He called the office? What? What kind of threat is that? Fucking with you, bro. Oh my God. God damn. Damn! You need one more player, coach. Let's go. We gotta get the game going. Put me in, coach. Nigga, your ass ain't. This not how shit go. Look at this bitch in khakis. Get your ass out of here. Stay these motherfuckers out. We stay these motherfuckers out. Who coming up with diamond? Damn, I didn't know they killed that nigga. God damn. Nigga, is it that serious? Is there some prize money or something from this shit? What do you even get from this shit? I think Tupac got a bunch of gambling stuff going on. They hinted at. Even still, it's broad daylight. It's hella witnesses. Why not just- Yo, my nigga, hairline is nuts. Even still, it's broad daylight. It's hella- The witnesses why not just wait to kill this nigga you so reckless all of a sudden you were pretty composed bad guy up till this point for real y'all waited yo y'all niggas waited to kill the homeless nigga y'all sat there and waited to kill the homeless nigga y'all waited to dark time you couldn't wait to dark time to kill this nigga Point. Anyway, the movie over now. Dwayne Martin makes it to college. Leon survives the gunshot and he's smashing Dwayne Martin's mom every night while he at college. Marlon Wayans gets his revenge on Tupac also. Basketball. Yo. Oh my God, he killed that nigga Pac. Yo, appreciate you for, yo, whoever just completed the damn tutorial real shit, we'll let you know, I really appreciate you, thank you. Dark time, nigga, dark time, nigga, like night time, nigga, dark time, nigga. Bro, I'm from, bro, y'all, y'all, ooh, bro, we got some proper niggas in this motherfucking chat, nigga, like, damn, bro. The proper niggas, hold on, man. God damn. We got some niggas that moved up. God damn.
Beans don't burn on the grill. Nigga, how did you make it this far? Because I'm a smart ass nigga. High in, or just to get up that hill. Now we're up in the big league. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? How the fuck am I weird? How am I weird? Moon, You're smart, moon. absolutely. I had a good time with this movie. It's a pretty standard. Hey, you don't believe? Hey, if you don't believe I'm smart, watch my movie. actions, my boy. But the acting is top notch. I speak for myself. Tupac is always fun to watch. Dwayne Martin really felt believable in this one. Leon was super sensual as always. It's a slam dunk of a movie. It's not perfect. It's kind of cheesy sometimes. It's pretty cliche. Marlon oh. Wayne's character is super annoying. Yo, Not Eric, mention, you for that? that basketball the fuck is scene dark in the time. beginning nigga, is when it's insanely dark, comical. At the time of the night, nigga. changed this death scene. This shit is ridiculous. That death scene was horrible. I'm glad it had a happy ending too, though. Most hood movies don't. You come out of this one feeling pretty good. I heard someone say hey, this yeah, movie is like a nigga. familiar dish, come but on, it's really nigga, well that's night prepared. Time. That's a good way to describe it. I agree. It's nighttime time. and dark time, it's a nigga. Well-prepared. But you gonna get mad when I call a refrigerated icebox? basketball hood movie fun fact Dwayne Martin was hella old when this came out that's not surprising he's like 30 the chick who plays his mom is only three years older than him also this was Tupac's last film to be released before he died and is Wood Harris's first big acting role there's not much more to say about this one all the actors did a good job except for Marlon Wayans it was entertaining the whole way through definitely check this one out if you haven't seen it that's it though. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thanks to all my Patreon homies. Yo, chat, what we sure watching to next? Check me out on Twitch. We do live streams every Tuesday. And what we watch? W Prim video. W Prim, W Prim, W Prim. Um, yo, I'm gonna watch one more video before we get up out of this thing, man. We've been live for a combined of, what, five hours? Five hour stream? Take reaction, stop asking us. All right, you're right, nigga. Fuck you. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. You mean as fuck. Thank you.